any more time here or he'll just laugh at me a shadow. Teamwork, everyone. On to the next. Hey, there's a treasure. Hey, doesn't that chest look kind of... I 
enemy spotted. Let's take him down. All right, let's get going. Hmm? It's a treasure chest. There's a shadow. Just what we hoped for. Careful, the enemy's nearby. Now's your chance! I'm still setting up. It'll take a little more time. One step at a time. Let's do it! Caesar! What are we thinking, please? Does it work? Just what we hoped for. Um, hey. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Certainly went well. The 150th floor. If we're truly that far along, I'd expect the air to be thinner here. <sighs> Doesn't feel like it. What a shame.
A shadow. What would... I'll start preparing the analysis. I don't think you have any skills for this. We hope for. Now, what do we run into next? There's a shadow. We've got the upper hand. Focus. There's a chest. There's a shadow. It's one of those chests. Spotted. Let's take him down. Enemy spotted. Let's take him down. So this is where the stairs.
Enemy spotted. Let's take him down. It's reading. It's the Reaper. You can do it! Looks like I'm getting even stronger.
to it. How may I assist you? Ah, please choose the personas you would like to fuse. This power might be too much for you. This would be a wise choice. would be a wise choice. What do you wish to inherit? It appears it will receive a fair amount. It's finally time. be a wise choice. What do you wish to inherit? It appears it will receive an immense amount of power. Well then, shall we begin? control this one yet this would be a wise choice it is a special persona you desire is this power might be too much for you
it becomes this. Careful out there. What do you wanna sell him? All right, I'll take that. Public be uh, running a little sale today. Take as long as you need. Hmm? You finished? Be seeing ya. twins, but not the kind that looked the same. He was the better looking one. Everyone called me the uglier Suimitsu. He always compared me to him, and I can never beat him in anything. There was a time when I used to hit him for no reason, but even then he still treated me like a brother. Then in middle school, we bought steamed buns, and then he died. Food poisoning. They said the meat was undercooked. Just his bun, though. Not mine. But I couldn't even cry. I actually felt... relieved. I thought, maybe they'll all finally stop laughing at me. Thanks. But, I know already, I was a terrible brother. At first, I tried to be more like him. I went to cram schools and did martial arts and everything. But I could never be as good, and eventually, I started to feel like people were laughing at me. The only time I feel safe is when I'm eating. All that matters is what's in front of me, and everything else melts away. See? 
That's what the Gourmet King really is. I only eat to run away from my problems, but if I keep this up, I'll never be able to replace my brother. Will I? Be myself? Be myself? Is that really how it is? Hmm. I hear you. You're right. I can never be like my brother. We're two different people. How did I miss something so obvious? <laughs> I can be pretty dumb sometimes. Thank you. Really, thank you so much. Sudden, but I'm relieving you of your duties as the Gourmet King's Royal Guard. You're fired because you're the new king. All hail Gourmet King the Second! The restaurants in the strip mall gave this to me because of how often I eat there. I feel like I've been fake all this time. But one day, I will become the true Gourmet King! I think I'll become a food critic. It'll be my job to eat. I'm gonna become a food master. Then when I die and go to the afterlife, I can face my brother. And then I can tell him I was the best at something for once in my life. So until I reclaim my crown, you can hang on to it. I may have lost my title, but someday I'll make my grand return as Gourmet King the Third. That's my promise to you. And to my little brother. Huh. I've been talking so much about my brother, but... I'm okay. My memories didn't make me sad and hungry this time. Hmm. Oh, wow. I never realized how good the ramen tastes here. Yes. I see. Sorry I'm late. I ran into some unexpected trouble. All right, here goes. Back me up, would you? 
I'm gonna make pancakes. Think you can help? I guess you could say I've got a craving. I used to eat them all the time at the orphanage. I know they sell frozen ones nowadays. But nothing beats freshly cooked, right? You think so? I just thought more would be better than less. Well, let's go on and get started. Okay, uh, first things first. Uh, what exactly do we do first? I think the recipe said to use lots of butter and to regulate the pan's temperature with a damp washcloth. Wait, we put a washcloth in the pan? Won't it burn? You sure? <laughs> Thanks. I don't know how to cook anything besides the stuff I use for bodybuilding. I can break the eggs and mix the batter. I'll leave the actual cooking part to you. Oh. So that's how you use the washcloth. How about we add some protein powder? Hey, don't look at me like that. Oh, <laughs> I'd better go get the plates. All right, I think this will be enough. Oh, check it out! Wow, look at all the pancakes! I knew something smelled good! Yeah, just give me a minute. We can eat once I bring them out. Would you mind getting everyone else? <laughs> and don't forget Amada. Okay. Oh, it's like a tartarus of pancakes. Do the two of you make all of these yourselves? Yeah, although this guy was the one who cooked them. I said I had a hankering, but we might have made too much. I like pancakes, but no way I can eat all of these myself. If you guys could pitch in, that'd be great. So you like pancakes too, Sonata-san? Thank you. I can't wait to have some. I'll make some tea. I've got some leaves that'd be great for the occasion. It's pancake party time, as they say. Mm. 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 Those Those are so smile to my face. Oh, what are you saying? Oh, yeah? What are you, the chairman? <sighs> Thanks for the pancakes. They were really good. Tasted like a lot of care went into them. If you ever make some again, I'd like to help out too. For as many as we made, they sure did disappear fast. Cooking's not really one of my strong ones. A certain someone would always say, if you pour protein powder on the ingredients, then you shouldn't be in the kitchen, dumbass. Most of the time, I only ever got to watch someone else cook. So I never really learned myself. Anyways, thanks for helping out today. I'm hoping that cheered everyone up a little. Yeah, pretty much. They did things like this back when I was at the orphanage. I just wanted to recreate it. My sister used to cry all the time there. But the pancakes always brought a smile to her face. Do you remember that medal you found in the package from my parents? My sister, Miki. She made that back when we were at the orphanage. Based on the letter that came with it, I guess my parents found it when they were cleaning. Miki was gonna give that to me after we learned I was getting adopted out and leaving. But then that fire happened right after. And this medal was all that was left of her. Apparently, Miki used to always say she wanted to thank me for being so strong and kind. She was really quiet, and she'd always be following me around. I don't really remember doing anything special for her, but I guess she was relying on me as her older brother. Seeing that medal made me think, would my sister be proud of who I am now? Am I really strong and kind enough to deserve that medal? If I'm being honest, I don't really know what it means to be strong or kind. Everyone who's ever said that to me has left without telling me the most important part. You saw how I was today. This is all I'm capable of right now. I haven't grown at all since I was a kid. <laughs> They'd laugh if they saw me now. Maybe my sister would say that. 
But you know not everyone would cut me that much slack. I realized I'd just been running away all this time, making excuses about having my own problems. But from now on, I'm gonna protect it all. We promised we'd become strong together. I won't let him down. <laughs> Thanks, I really appreciate that. I'll be counting on you next time. <laughs> the point of this whole thing was to cheer everyone up. And yet I'm the one getting supported here, you know? I think you're the kind of person my sister would have looked up to. All right, that's enough talking about the past. Let's hurry up and finish cleaning. <sighs> well, <clears throat> I ran into that group of punks on my way home from shopping today. There were even more of them this time. And one guy managed to get a good hit in. Don't worry, though. I didn't do anything that would get me in trouble with the police. I just let them throw as many punches as they wanted until they got tired and gave up. I thought I could dodge them all, but uh, <laughs> I guess I've still got room to improve. I know you've been busy lately, but you all remember to do your homework, right? Just because you're not taking a humanities class next year doesn't mean you can blow off classic lit. Hey, are you all listening to me? <sighs> What's wrong, Fuka? You look kind of down. Huh? Talk to me. What's bothering you? It's just... Aragaki Senpai. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty shocking. I'd never seen him in school, but he'd always be hanging around town. And now he's just. gone. It's hard to put it into words. I took it for granted that everyone would always be around, that nothing would ever change, but some things you can never get back. I didn't consider how easily it could happen. Once I realized that, I started thinking about my parents. I've sort of been avoiding the question, but... Is it okay for me to leave things with them like this? Parents, huh? Yeah, that's a tough one. But I think you'll work it out, Fuka. Moriyama, what are you waiting for? Come on up. <sighs> Would it kill you to give your classmates a proper goodbye? Huh? What's going on? Um, uh, hi everyone. I know I haven't been here that long, but I feel like I've made some good friends. I'll remember each and every one of you after I transfer. Thank you all. How's that? Uh, wait, transfer? One, you know that? The biggest bitch in school is leaving and you're gonna miss her? You're transferring and you didn't say anything? It's not like it would have made a difference. Why make us both depressed? But yeah, my dad suddenly collapsed. And they say it'll take a while for him to recover because of some complications. We don't really have that much money, so we can't afford to stay in this area. You know, now that I think about it, you're the only one who bothered being friends with a weirdo like me. But like I said before, we're both in the same boat. My parents act like I don't even exist. I hate living with them. That's why I was so jealous when you moved into the dorm. Natsuki-chan. You know, you've really changed, Fuka. You're a lot more cheerful now. But why'd you move when your house is like, right here? Huh? Well, um, if you don't want to say, that's okay. 
I'm sure you've got your reasons. But if it's something that you and your parents can work out, then do it while you have a chance. It'll be a while before my dad's in any condition for us to have a heart to heart. <laughs> what am I doing? This isn't what I wanted to talk about. You know, Fuka, I used to think every day was just the same depressing routine. And I'm only saying this because it's you, but you don't really get many second chances in life. Natsuki-chan. <sighs> I guess this is the last time I'll see this view. I won't be in school next week because I'll be packing, so... I guess this is goodbye. No! <laughs> Don't you dare come see me off. I want to say goodbye on my own terms. <sighs> Come on, don't give me that look. But you're leaving so suddenly. Hey, I'm not all broken up about this, just so you know. I've changed a lot since I met you. I'm gonna try and figure out what I really want to do with my life. I know you can do it, Natsuki-chan. <laughs> Well, now I really feel like I gotta do it. No pressure, right? No. I got one last thing I want to say before I go. If you just accept the way things are, then you'll never move forward. Just like me. <sighs> so I hope you can figure out what you want, too. What I want, I... I used to try and please everyone, just to fit in. I was afraid of not being liked, so I always went along with the people around me. But I never really thought about what I wanted. <laughs> That's so you. Well, if they don't like you for who you are, I say screw them. But I like you, Fuka. Even if you hate yourself. Natsuki-chan. Well, I better get going. Huh? Huh? Natsuki-chan? Here, even if we're apart, we're still connected. So, we can always talk, right? Thanks for being my friend. I'm... Kind of tearing up now. Natsuki-chan. Even if we're apart, we're still connected. <laughs> I get it now, Natsuki-chan. I'd always assumed my powers were a reflection of my faults. I was always worried about how other people see me. And that's why my powers let me see others. There is something I want after all. Seeing everyone getting along and working together makes me so happy. So, I want us to treasure this forever. I have the power to connect people, even when they're apart. My persona has given me this amazing gift. The friendship I've always wanted. doing here it is unusual to find you up on the rooftop well we didn't see you around so we weren't sure if you were all right i think i figured it out okay i've made up my mind i'm going to do everything i can with the power i've been given this is what i've decided i want to do um sure <laughs> Sorry, I 
Guess that was out of nowhere, wasn't it? Uh, you sure you're all right? <laughs> Accepting a request? Let's hear the results. Very well. Sorry, but I need your advice again. Let's meet up after art club like we did the other day. Um, don't tell anyone else about this, okay? I'm still torn on studying abroad. My dad's trying to make all my decisions for me. He chose the school I'd go to, the dorm I'd live in, he even bought my plane ticket already. And I haven't actually agreed to go through with it yet either. He's been like this ever since we argued about the art club. It's like he's suddenly trying to be more understanding. It's weird. Well, being a doctor is something I think about a lot. If I do end up studying abroad now and become an artist, there's no turning back, is there? Then I could never be a doctor. My teachers, my friends, and especially you. Everyone's been so supportive, and I know what you must be thinking. A chance to study abroad? What an opportunity. Sorry, it seems like all I ever do is complain to you, but I always feel a lot better after talking to you, so thanks. don't even know what I really want to do in time. I have to head to the bookstore. You can go on without me. I'm buying a fortune-telling book and reading the whole thing in one night.
by the way. Very puzzling. The plants seem much livelier than they did when we started. Do you suppose they're happy that you are tending to them? Good idea. I'll give it a try. Hello? Hello? This is Igis. If you can hear me, plants, then please respond. Hmm. Unfortunately, there was no answer. Communication will be difficult with my current abilities. This is something to consider for the future. I had some prior knowledge of plants, but this was my first time observing them directly. These little seeds and buds in the earth can morph and change so quickly. Is this proof that they are living as well? How fascinating. I would like to watch these plants grow and document this experience for my records. I will tend to them with my full power. This took more time than I'd anticipated. I will need to run more simulations to ensure there are no delays next time. It's gotten late. We should head back now. This is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. Two this time, I believe, and there seems to be an acquaintance of yours among them. I suggest you carry out a rescue post-haste. Goodbye now.
do you want to do now? Karaoke? Mommy? Where are you? Hmm? Mommy? Where are you? <laughs> hey, what's wrong? Are you lost? Mommy told me to wait here and uh, uh, she gave me money, but <laughs> she, she's not going back. <laughs> hey, don't cry. See, you're okay now. I'll stay here with you, all right? Hey, look, we can get help over there. Follow me. The policeman will know what to do. He'll find your mom, so don't worry. <sighs> what a relief. I'm glad he was able to contact the parents. What were they thinking leaving that poor kid all alone? Stuff like that really makes me upset. But I guess my own mom's no different. Why do you want to know? Sorry, I didn't mean to poke fun at you. Remember what I told you before? How my mom and I aren't very close? Well, if you ask me what kind of parent she is, I'd say a terrible one. She wasn't always like that, though. After what happened to Dad, she totally changed. She's probably living with one of her boyfriends somewhere. Honestly, I'd rather not know. Anyway, I'm done talking about this, okay? Could we keep this between you and me? You're the only one I've told. Sorry, I'm not in the mood for karaoke anymore. Let's go home.